Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 20th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Start note here, always looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun. No major solar flares to report. Still watching some large plasma filaments dancing around the surface. And as well, ejecting away. Having a look at the last two days incoming. We do have that large cresting sunspot, which was posted yesterday. Cresting in for an earth-facing view. Should be an interesting week ahead following that sunspot region. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. We did have an event on the backside of the sun outgoing, which created a coronal mass ejection but more in a southward fashion. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, pointing out the last 48 hours of events, and as well, pointing out our coronal holes, as we have two deepening and enlarging coronal holes, developing for an Earth-facing view. And they are cooled regions on the surface of our sun, and they do increase solar winds when earth facing having a look at another light here see our heliosphere and corona in action right now we have five sunspot regions and one of them is very large and i showed that coming in yesterday we'll have another look at it here as there is quite a bit of activity in behind it as well Big black hole in the sun right here. Little earth to scale to show. And this region has been firing off C-class solar flares, but nothing major thwarted our way. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. Solar winds are coming in at 277 kilometers per second right now. That is about average. Solar X-ray flux showing a couple minor C-class solar flare spikes there, and as well overnight. Solar proton flux coming right down to a more reasonable range, and geomagnetic activity did hop up overnight, and throughout the, or sorry, throughout the day today, up to a 2.5. Having a look here at our space weather prediction spiral, showing the most recent CME taking off from the sun, small arrival date for the 19th into the 20th, which we already saw with the geomagnetic activity rising to 2.5. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, large CME taking off in the outgoing position and a little abnormally weird event happening there. The right-hand side. And then looking at Lasco, this is Lasco 3, a broader perspective of our sun showing the cosmic energy leaving it. And as well, if you note and see that little bright star that is coming into view, that is Mercury. And there are the most recent CMEs taking off from our sun. So Mercury getting ready for a retrograde on the other side of the sun. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're very low at about 150 earthquakes in the 24 hour period. Deepest earthquake today, 570 kilometer depth south of the Fiji Islands. And as well notable here, 4.1 earthquake, Tarangi, New Zealand. And that is right by the Lake Taupo super volcano. So heads up there in New Zealand, 4.5 there, Papua New Guinea. Notable activity here off the coast of Taiwan. 5.0, .5, five earthquakes through the region. 5.1 here, Hami, China, Northeast Tibetan Plateau. And as well, India 4.3 and Russia with a 4.1 magnitude earthquake. Quiet across the African plate. Quiet South America right now, only reporting the 4.1 here. In Chile, 121 kilometer depth. Cocos Plate, Ecuador, Marino, Ecuador, 5.1 magnitude. 
and as well a 4.6 year reported in Jordan, Colombia. Activity through Puerto Rico, pretty quiet considering what it normally is. And thanks, heads up, lurk face for the tsunami watch in Florida. Looking across the United States, Stoyle, not much to report as we're only reporting 158 earthquakes in the map area right now in the last 24 hours. I wanted to give you a quick look here at exactly where this earthquake was in New Zealand. As you can see, just northeast of this earthquake is Lake Tapo, Tarangi, New Zealand, with a 4.1, a pretty sizable magnitude earthquake. And considering we had a couple other shakers on the island, and one close to the very large volcano west there. Right there. So, heads up New Zealand. You could have something brewing there as earthquakes are very quiet right now. Looking across the United States, Grandin, Missouri, reporting a 2.7. Minor activity continuing through Mentone and westward into the Mexico border. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about, just some notable activity all across and around the San Francisco Bay Area. Minor activity at best. Now let's have a quick glance here at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Take a quick moment to thank you all for over 70,000 followers. Please keep caring and sharing. Notable activity there, moving northward up the North American plate way too quiet through Africa and Europe. And then all of the increasing deep earthquakes that we've seen this week and increasing activity all around the Tibetan Plateau. Deep earthquakes there, elevated rings showing the depth of the earthquakes. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by our Vordi, 42 volcanoes that are active and erupting around the world. Notable eruption there at Popo Piquetito in Mexico, and as well, lots of SO2 particulates moving across the Pacific right now. Thanks to the erupting volcanoes on the West Pacific through Russia and Japan. But still looking at quite a bit of SO2 in our atmosphere right now, especially the Northern Hemisphere. Having a look over Southeast Asia and Australia. Big plumes coming out of northwestern Siberia. And as well, Aoba Volcano. And Eastern Russia, Kamchatka. Vanuatu, Luganville, Vanuatu. That is where the Aoba Volcano is. Then overlooking a Europe Increased SO2 coming out of Africa today. And as well, Mount Etna through Italy. And as I mentioned, we do have 42 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. And this is where all of our SO2 is coming from. Carrying on here with the world weather forecast brought to you by Windy.com and daily events worldwide. Strong system moving into the United Kingdom this week. And another one trailing in behind that. Set to give Ireland a glancing blow and then head into France. Very large low pressure system and heavy snowfall warnings for parts of Norway, Finland, and then watching the Mediterranean, parts of North Africa, an intense low pressure system there. Medicaine almost looking like a Mediterranean hurricane. Carrying on here, North American soil. Big low pressure system off the coast right now. Grinding up the United States and into Canada. And then long range forecast. Some interesting storms developing coming from the north. And then watch for mixed bag of precipitation from this low pressure system. Heading through Ontario towards the end of the month. Going to see rain and then snow on the backside and cold temperatures coming. 
and then a big low moving down the west coast, which could really change the way our winds are going. Having a look here, Southeast Asia, South Africa, and Australia. Still tracking those low pressure systems, possible cyclone material, and as well possible typhoon material for the long range forecast heading through Central Pacific. Strong system coming out of uh, South China Sea. And then these big systems in the North Pacific setting to grind right across the Aleutian Islands pounding Alaska with snow and strong winds and then watch for that all to shift as these systems start moving southward down the west coast for the long range forecast interesting developments across our world right now and thank you so much for being a part of this channel we are all blessed and I'm grateful to be a witness and to have you all watching stay aware and prepared Stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.